All right, guys, I'm just gonna get right into this. You see the title, you have no idea what it's about. I'm in fucking pain right now, okay, guys? I fucked up big time, fucking big time. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. So like I said before, I fucked up. You know those, you know those rugby videos that you're seeing recently, the uh, the tutorial ones, the goose step, the dummy pass, the double round. Well, um, it seems I actually had to make a bit of a sacrifice to make those. Um, that morning, I was so motivated, so fucking keen to get down to the field, I completely forgot to put sunscreen on. And if you guys don't know, now you will. Um, Alice Springs is in the middle of Australia, right in the centre, we're in the middle of a desert and when there's no clouds in the sky, there ain't nothing to stop that sun from just beating, beating, beating down on you and that is exactly what has happened to me. So I was out there for like literally two hours, I think, no sunscreen, the sun was on me the entire time. Unfortunately, it took me till probably about two hours after I got home to actually look at my shoulders and realize, oh shit, oh shit, something's gone wrong here. Something is, is very, very wrong. Um, they were bright, bright red. And two days later, um, we're here today, and now they're fucking purple. And, um, and not only that, but we've got blisters. So basically, guys, I've pretty much given myself a third degree burn uh, from from the sun, which really fucks me off because, you know, in all seriousness, guys, yeah, this is funny, <clears throat> this is funny, but in all seriousness, I am really, really fucking strict when it comes to sunscreen, especially living here, especially being fair-skinned, I hate getting sunburned, I absolutely hate it, especially on my neck, my shoulders and things, and so, guys, um, anyways, anyways, enough of that, truth be told, I've actually just got home from the emergency department. It's, uh, what is the time? 9.25 in the morning. And um, yeah, I, basically I was lying in bed last night and uh, it was just so painful. I could not get comfortable. Every time I moved, it was like scratching. I'm gonna show you guys right now what it looks like. You make up, you, you be the judge, all right? The doctor has given me, oh God. Uh, even when, even when I'm just moving around, like honestly, I, I gotta take this off. Fuck now. Ah. Uh. Uh. Ooh. Can you see that, guys? Can you fucking see that? Oh god. And I don't even know if you can see it, but there's little blisters popping up everywhere. Can you imagine how fucking sore that is? Anyways, guys, I've just got back from the emergency department. It was four in the morning. I was not gonna go to work. I was fucking tired. I couldn't sleep. I was like, screw this, I'm getting up. I'm going to the hospital. I've just got back now. That was at four in the morning. So it's been five hours, and all I managed to get out of them was some ibuprofen, which I haven't taken any yet, which I will. Some Panadine Fort with uh, 30 milligrams of codeine per tablet, which is great, that actually might do something. And I try, like, oh my god, even just walk, look at this, man. <laughs> if only I did my whole body, it might look a little bit better, but, like, I'm not even, I, I'm laughing, but I'm not, I'm honestly not. So, the only thing that they've given me, I said to them, please, can you just put some bandages on there or something so I can at least like wear some clothes or, or lie down on my back. I can't even lie down on my back at the moment. It's so, so fucking sore. Oh, all the way along there, it's all blistered. Oh my God, it's horrible. I went through a whole entire bottle of moisturizer yesterday. Just every 15 minutes, honestly, just lathering it. I was white in, in cream and it literally, all it takes is like 15, 20 minutes. It's so hot that it just gets absorbed and just evaporates probably. 
So um, I tried to get her to put bandages on there, she said it's not going to stick, she actually tried putting them on there, I put my t-shirt on and they all came off. So all I've got is these little bandage things, like pads, um, and this saline solution that they've given me. So apparently what I've got to do is wet the pads so they're nice and cool, put them on top and just leave them there. I'm not going to be able to wear any clothes over the top. It's just really bad timing, man. Anyways, I fucked up, alright, I fucked up big time. And I also bought this too. So, actually I'm going to put some of that on there first, and then I'm going to wet some of those things, and then put it over the top. So, I didn't actually have proper aloe vera gel yesterday, I just had some moisturizer. So, hopefully this stuff is the legit stuff, which it kind of looks like it. So we'll uh, rub that on there. Anyway. <laughs> pray for me, guys. Fucking pray for me. Oh, ow. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Wait, I knew it was bad, right, when I, I reached down my back and I could feel all these bumps. And I was like, oh my god. Those are blisters, aren't they? I have never, like, literally, guys, I have never got burnt so bad that, they, that it blistered. Especially not on the second day, like, fuck me. I will learn. I will learn once and for all after this. I'll tell you that. That sounds sexual or fucking like I'm in, in pain, torture. It's a mixture of pain when you first put it on and then relief when it actually cools it down a little bit. But you really need quite a lot. <laughs> Even my head. I just got a fucking haircut before I went and did those videos. Thinking I was going to have my hair out. But then it was way too hot so I put my cap on anyway. And the back of my head got fucking burnt. The back of my scalp. Honestly, guys, you cannot escape the sun. There is no clouds in the sky. <laughs> How I ever thought I was going to get through that unscathed, I don't know. Anyways, that is the aloe vera. Let's fucking... Let's get this shit on me. I'll use half bottle. Fuck, this reminds me of... Steroids. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's alright. That actually feels good, man. Because, <sighs> oh. yeah, the three spots that are at that are the worst by far, the three spots that have blistered is on top of each shoulder and at the back of my neck. Because, oh my god, guys, I can't even tell you how fucking sore this is. What a joke. How did I do this to myself? Now what am I gonna do? Oh man. What have I done? What have I done? I fucked up, that's what I've done. Alright, okay, okay, alright. So before I go, I just wanna say that the next video that you guys see will be a little bit of a timeline video um, covering the next six months of my life. So we're in November, I'm gonna cover it up to May next year. I've got certain major events over that time that I want to tell you guys about. Um, and so, yeah, if you're interested, please give it a watch uh, while I stand here with these fucking pads on my shoulders. In other news, guys, thanks for all the support with the rugby video. I hope you guys really enjoyed that one. Luckily for you guys, the goose step 
is only the first of six rugby videos that's coming out. So if you like that one, be sure to look out. Like I said, the next one is going to be another vlog. But after that, we're going to be straight back into the rugby videos. So I've got them all there uploaded, ready to go. I am absolutely over the moon with the uh, reaction I've got from my first one that I did. I always forget, you know, a lot of my viewers are rugby enthusiasts. They're really not so much about if it fits your macros and making gains, you know what I mean? So uh, making gains in the rugby field is, uh, is a totally different ball game. No pun intended. <laughs> Anyways guys, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna sit at the computer, get this video up for you guys today. Wherever you are in the world, whatever you're doing, I hope you have a fantastic weekend, probably a little bit better than mine, and um, pray for me guys. One like equals one prayer, all right? That's all I'm gonna say. Until next time, peace. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. Oh.